<clears throat> so as you know in the other video it seemed like we was having some issues with the car moving forward wasn't really sure what it was stepped on the gas it started to shudder and sputter and shit like it didn't want to go so this was, I was like what the fuck bro like so you just go back to the basics so fuel air and spark is what you need for your shit to run so i went back i checked all of my train or all of my uh spark plugs uh spark plug wires you know what i'm saying to ensure that the spark was there that was actually one of these that was loose uh and it was actually a wire that didn't seem to be all the way on there so that's what i'm kind of doing this morning. it was after i let it run a little bit so that's why i'm just kind of double checking this morning While the engine is cold, and make sure that we got uh got what we need. But like I said, it was running. It was just like running like crap. Like it was wasn't running on all cylinders or something. Um. So that was like uh, the number two, I want to say it was the number two was loose, the number eight wasn't all the way on the injector <clears throat> or on the coil pack. Uh, everything on this side was seemed to be good. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. Maybe I just didn't torque it down on whatever. So now it seemed to be better. So. I'm gonna take a little spin around the block right quick uh, before I go get this audio adapter. Before it was shuddering and, and like the shit was on Tourette's or some shit, bro. Like, I like, nigga, this is not the same motor. <laughs> I repeat, this is not the same motor. But that's why you gotta double check spark plug, spark plug wires. I was thinking it was fuel. Uh, but wasn't that serious. I know that pump is good. The engine was running, so it had to be getting fuel um, constantly up there. Um, air, I wasn't worried about. So it really kind of just went down the spark. You know what I'm saying? And that's what my problem was, it seemed like. So, like I said, just gonna take it around the block right quick. Make it do what it do. I don't know what happened with this shit. <laughs> The 
It's always some, ain't it? <laughs> and I know because part of that, because that is broke, but. But hold on, I got you. Shirt. Do I really want a food? Mess off my white shirt. I mean, it ain't like white, white, but it's pretty clean for a white shirt that's been in the garage. <laughs> Take a second, think about it. Uh, a matter of fact, you should take 4B, something, 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 skateboard B. Drop it like it's hard. Fuck it, bro. Another, another thing that it was doing that I noticed was it, it was popping and shit. It was popping from the damn exhaust. So I was like, yo, yeah, something's not right. So, it seemed to be all good now. They're just wiping out these windows and shit for uh, safety's sake. Pretty sure the defroster work, but at this point, at, th at this point this morning, I was just trying to, like I said, just trying to shoot this real quick for y'all. So. All right, let's go. Yeah. You know, so the issue I was having before was the shit was just. You want to die and shit? Kind of like it's doing, doing now. still doing something crazy.
something's popping up under the hood. I can hear it, so it's probably got something to do with them damn spark plugs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery for sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm also going to go get some gas. That's no gas. That's kind of why I did this shit the way I did this shit. Well, I can't leave this motherfucker in the street. I was almost there. Hold on. Sweet Christmas. And now the battery going dead. It's just it's getting a terrible fucking adapter. The video is no longer about the fucking adapter. It's about the fucking shit. Anyway, we on the street. 